Riemann hypothesis confirming the no trivial zeros of a Riemann zeta function. Let's start our presentation. First, we need to understand the Martinelli's polynomial. The Martinelli's polynomial, polynomial is prov proved and it can solve polynomials by radicals as 50 degree equation. But it is also useful to confirm non trivial zeros of Zeeman zeta function. Let's see the Martinez polynomial. This is. Let's get a pencil. Let's, this, this is the Martinez polynomial. If we create a simple 50 degree equation, then just put the coefficient of it at Martinez polynomial here. Let's see an uh, example. This is a 20 degree equation. So let's substitute by minus s to the power 2. We got this equation x to the power 5 minus s to the power 2 x to the power 3 equals 0 now we can see the c, d, e and f of the, the Martinez polynomial c equal minus s to the power 2 d equal 0 e equal 0 f equal 0 since we know the c d e and f coefficient we know must create a second second degree equation using using the variable f like this this is like a second degree equation using the formula to solve quadratic equation we can solve this equation now we just need to solve the equation once in the general resolution of the quadratic equation. So we got this using Wolf and alpha, we got this solution f using k using f, s equal f that is equal zero. Using the Wolf and alpha to better calculate the f that must be zero we found the approximation of f of zero of z Riemann zeta function this is the query using z in Wolfram alpha if k equal s the so the solution must be zero that is f if k isn't equal to s, we will have a result that is not equal to zero. The key to understand the confirmation of non-trivial zeros of human zeta function is defined s as zeta, the real part uh, on, on uh, health, plus the imaginary part of the, the, the number that give us the, no, the the zero of Riemann zeta function and x is equal to its imaginary part of the number that gives us the no trivial zero of the Riemann zeta function. Now we now if we put the first no trivial zeros at zeta s uppercase, we get the number approximated of zero. Let's see. This is the result of the Wolfram alpha. The imaginary part, the result, right? Now, let's see at Wolfram Alpha the query. Let's see. Now we are in the Wolfram Alpha 
we we will define the s and the k s is the coefficient c in the poly martinez polynomial s is the uh, approximated zero it is approximate zero because zeta uh, one half plus 14 dot 13 etc the imaginary part will approximate it of zero let's see this is the result but in the substitution we so we click in the approximation we have approximate zero substitution using the substitution of k and s approximate at zero if we use k equal one the result will be different of zero it will be one over two five square root of five minus eleven this is the result if s equal to k the result will be zero because we get the f we approximated the k and the s the way we get the zero as result as result so if we put another approximator imaginary z uh, zero of the the list, the table, the list of, of uh, Zeman Heta Zeta function zeros, the non trivial zeros. Example this S and K, this Zeta, we get this result equal zero approximated form approximated zero so if s as 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 i said s equal one and k equal one k equal s in the case we have the the solution equals zero approximate form approximate form zero maybe is a problem in the open alpha because we don't identify the the result exactly but he, he, using the the proof of of martinet transformation we can and uh, this the the sure we can sure the the k and the, the the result is true it is true it's it's perfect it's not um just approximate form it, it is approximate form but not is the um, 
It's not a. For, for example, if we put the zeta zero in S, that is the coefficient. S is the coefficient. K is the approximated form. One over um, a thousand. Let's see. This result K is the K of the Martinelli's polynomial. S is the coefficient of the Kintic equation. And the result will be this approximated zero. Approximated for uh, approximated uh, of F. F is is it is zero. And now we can just identify the Riemann zeta function using the same approximation. Well, this is the, the this is the table of uh, no trivial zeros from the website that d T C dot an and in dot edu edu. The next no trivial zero is five is twenty five. Sorry, twenty five. So zeta one half plus. Twenty five dot zero one zero uh, etc let's see the result the same equals zero so this help us to understand the uh, one way one way to to approximate the zero, the zero of zeta function, or, or we, we identify the the s in this case equal k, but not is not is the 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 the, the reality the not is the it's not pro proved the 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 this this is uh, k is equal s in this case zeta fourteen dot thirteen and zeta twenty five dot zero one this the this is a, a example the k and s is very close each other right is very close since it, s and k is very close which other is it means the f will be appear in the result of this so, uh, resolution of the quadratic equation as shown before this is the the example example using the martinez polynomial to confirm to confirming the the zeros of a zeta function the Riemann zeta function this is the maybe a way to confirm the zeros of a zeta function not the solution of the Riemann zeta the, the Riemann hypo hypothesis but the confirming confirm the the exact the, the approximate S and K are very close to each other. 
K and S are very close. If you have a doubt, leave a comment. Okay. This is not the, the presentation about the, the solution of the human uh, hypothesis, but the, the confirmation of the zeros of the Zeman Riemann, Riemann zeta function. Okay. Thank you for watching and bye.